Good afternoon. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. A Town of Dillon employee died yesterday at the marina from a medical emergency suffered just before a fall. Neighbors tell Crystal 93 they feared a fire at the marina when they saw two fire engines rush to the docks. That is where co-workers were trying to revive the victim. First responders also tried and were unsuccessful. The victim was then taken to the hospital and pronounced dead. We are not giving the victim's name out of respect for family and co-workers. Summit Stage is backing off on its plans to renew countywide half-hour bus service. Just one route is getting half-hour buses this ski season, Frisco to Copper. The rest will have to wait. Transit levels are set for an all-time high beginning April 21st. That was Transit Director Chris Lubers. The average property here in Summit County is selling for 20% more than state average, and state average is not cheap, almost $730,000. That's up 48 grand in one year. New data from Colorado Realtors shows the Summit and state markets continue to defy logic. Fewer people are buying, but sellers keep raising prices. Dillon Town Council is about to give itself a raise, but Councilman John Woods, he's not calling it that. He calls it a cost of living adjustment. Members unanimously approved first reading of a 50% adjustment for council, 40% for the mayor. They will be earning $750 and $1,400 per month, respectively. Frisco PD wants to buy five take-home vehicles for police officers. Writes the PD in a letter to Frisco Council, take-home vehicles cost nearly $86,000 apiece, but they are valuable recruiting tools. The town is sending four recruits through the police academy right now, and all four are being heavily recruited by other departments. Fire crews are burning slash at Frisco Peninsula today. You might see smoke. Do not call 911. This is the first of many pile burns this winter for wildfire mitigation. You can learn more about where and why tomorrow at a virtual info meeting. Tomorrow's meeting is 6 p.m. See the Summit County website for a link. Today, we are in the classroom with Mrs. Beth Ann Houston at Summit Middle School. I'm the sixth grade English language development specialist, so I focus on language learners. About one in four students at Summit Middle are learning English. That is more than double the state rate. And this demands a unique approach to teaching. I run from one class to another because I'm a co-teacher. She splits her time between her classroom and several others. I've been a co-teacher with Ashley Smith probably over 15 years, so we can finish each other's thoughts. Back in her class, her students just finished a unit on Dia de los Muertos. It helps them read in English about a topic that they're familiar with. Soon, it is Thanksgiving, a not-so-familiar holiday when they learn with their bellies. Many of the kids who are newcomers to the United States have never had pumpkin pie, so I always bring in pumpkin pie and whipped cream. And learn with their brains. We circle around the words all around Thanksgiving, pilgrims to Mayflower to pumpkin pie. It's one of her favorite units, and she's been doing it for years, 26 years, all with Summit School District. Tune in again next week for In the Classroom with local educators. In sports, the Nuggets play the Clippers tonight at 8 on TNT. And in local sports, Open Now's registration for Race of the Santas. It's happening on Main Street, Breckenridge, December 2nd. Learn more at gobreck.com. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.